Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to webinar ni Tech Meet. Um, this is about uh, basics of uh, forex trading. So my name is Christine Francisco. I'm the the country manager for Tech Meet Philippines. So we will um, start our uh, session. Um, by the way, thank you for uh, taking your time to to par participate in this webinar. And hopefully, at the end of the session, um, we all um, are able to learn something uh, about forex trading. So first, um, I just want to read uh, this disclaimer. Um, Tickmill does not give financial advice. If in doubt, please seek independent financial advice. All comments stated in this webinar does not reflect the opinion of Tickmill as a company. Whilst this presentation has been prepared to the best of our knowledge, Tickmill will not be held liable for any inaccuracies or errors found in the documents. Rest warning. CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 73% and 70% of retail investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with Tickmill UK uh, Limited and Tickmill Europe Limited respectively. You should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. So um, today we're, we're going to discuss um, the basics of the Forex market. Um, if we are a beginner, uh, ano nga ba yung mga dapat natin gawin uh, to start trading in the market? Now, um, if, if we have any questions for, during this uh, webinar, uh, feel free to use our uh, chat, back, uh, chat box to, um, con uh, for your questions or you can also raise your hand. All right. So let's begin. So today uh, we will discuss what is Forex, what are the common Forex trading terminologies, what are the type of Forex analysis, how to start trading in the Forex market, and uh, what are the, the ways to earn in this uh, market. So firstly, what is Forex? Forex is a shortcut from foreign exchange. Um, it's a market where buying and selling of foreign currencies occur. So um, dito, uh, we buy and we sell um, instruments or assets. So mainly uh, foreign currencies, but we also have uh, commodities, um, indices we also offer that in uh, in Tickmin. so forex is the largest market in the world so if we compare it to uh, the stock market ito po yung uh, kanyang re representation so as you can see here okay. ito po si um, stock market um, this is 212 billion pero si forex uh, 5.1 trillion market siya so ibig sabihin it's a very huge market and uh, a lot of people are participating in this um, trading so how does forex trading work um, Simple lang po, no? Uh, we will give a sample. Uh, for example, you are traveling. So, uh, nagpunta uh, ka ng ibang bansa. Let's say you went to, to the United States. Tapos, uh, syempre, the, the money that we have, we have Philippine Peso. Um, we're not able to use our money to purchase um, items when you're in the U.S. So, what you're gonna do is you will go to a uh, money changer or uh, di kaya naman sa bank. Um, ipawapalit mo, let's say, ang baon mo is $1,000. So, at the time, ang exchange rate is 51.19. Uh, Tapos, um, so, ang, ang $1,000 mo magiging 
$51,900. So after, let's say, three months, three months kang nagpunta uh, ng US, bumalik ka na sa Pilipinas, ah, one year pa na. Uh, after one year, uh, yung $51,900, gumanda yung economy ng Philippines. So after one year, na, uh, naisipan mo bumalik, tapos na yung bakasyon mo. So ang rate niya na is $45,000. So, $1 is equivalent to 45 um, pesos. So, may uh, dala ka ulit. Sabihin natin, marami kang kamag-anak sa US, hindi ka nila pinagastos. So, you have yung, yung baon mong $1,000, $1,000 pa rin, hindi mo siya nagalaw. So, you have 51,900 pesos sa, sa pera. Um, pagka, you have 51,900. So, ang ginawa mo, um, Pinalit mo na siya uh, sa money changer. So, yung value nung uh, initial mo na 1,000, it, uh, it's 1,153.33. Uh, so, kumita ka ng $153.33. So, yun po yung pinaka-idea uh, ng Forex. Pero uh, dito nga lang, we don't need to travel. We don't have to uh, to go somewhere. somewhere Uh, para lang makapag-trade. Kailangan lang natin is the platform and internet um, and pwede na tayo mag-trade sa forex market kahit nasaan po tayo. Next question. Um, why trade forex? So, okay, um, Ms. Christine, ba ano anong reason? Bakit ba ako mag-trade ng forex? Um, beneficial ba yan for me? Uh, ano ba yung makukuha ko kapag uh, nag-trade ako ng Forex? So, simple lang. Um, there are several reasons uh, why you should trade Forex. First, um, it's what we call liquidity. So, Forex has very high liquidity. And when we say liquidity, it describes the extent to which an asset can be bought or and sold quickly at a stable prices and converted to cash. So, ibig sabihin, since it's a 5.1 trillion market, um, when it, ang buying and selling niya is simultaneous. So, pagka naglagay ka ng isang item, mabilis siyang mabibenta. So, next. Another thing, it's a 24 by 5 market. So, um, if you compare it to stock market, uh, stock market, I think they're just open from 9.30 a.m. Tapos around 1.30, close na sila. So, uh, so fit, that's for the Philippine stock market. Uh, so, Forex naman, where, whenever, wherever you are, um, it's open 24 by 5. So, nagsa-start siya at around 5 a.m. So, this is Manila time. And uh, ng Monday, tapos mag-close siya ng Saturday at around 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Depende po if uh, there's uh, daylight savings, uh, daylight saving time. So um, since we're talking about uh, it's 24 by 5 market, um, kailan po ba yung uh, best time to trade? So since we are in the Philippines, I will give you the the Philippine, um, the best time in the Philippines. So the market opens at uh, Asia. So this is uh, the Sydney market and the Tokyo market. This uh, opens, like I've mentioned earlier, at around 5 a.m. O kaya naman 6, nagbubukas siya. Si, si Tokyo opens at 7. Tapos si London market or the European market, it opens at 4 p.m. I, um, 4 p.m. o kaya naman 3 p.m. sa atin. Tapos si uh, New York market, New York market opens at around 9 p.m. So the best time to trade is when there's a lot of traders. Um, that are participating in the market. So this is actually the best time when the New York market and the London market meets. This is the best time to trade. Kasi uh, this is the time na the market is active, marami nang nagtitrade, and it can help you decide uh, kung ano yung magiging direction ng market natin. Okay, next. 
So there are uh, major currency pairs uh, that we are trading in the market. So these major currencies are the euro US dollar, New Zealand dollar and uh, versus US dollar, US dollar versus Japanese yen, Australian dollar versus uh, US dollar, Great British pound versus US dollar, US dollar versus um, Switzerland franc and uh, USD CAD or United States uh, versus Canadian dollars. So the major currencies, um, they're very uh, okay to trade. Why? Because most brokers, uh, when you trade the, the major pairs, they, this is the pairs that has the lowest spread. And sa Tikmil po, I'm very uh, proud to say that for these major currencies, most of the time, the spread starts from 0, 0.0. So later on, I will discuss what is the spread. Okay. So, um, let's start with 0, 0.0 and when you're trading, that's very important because this is actually the trading cost that you're paying. And if you're paying as much, then meaning you get lesser profits. But if you're paying less, then that means uh, it is more profit for you. Um, and other than the, the majors, we have the cross-currency pairs. So, we have uh, the euro. Uh, paired to other currencies like GBP, Switzerland franc, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, and Japanese yen. Same din po, si Japanese yen has um, pairs. Uh, same lang din ng mga currencies. GBP, Canadian dollar, and uh, Australian dollar, and uh, New Zealand dollar. So meron din po siya. Um, th those are the cross-currency pairs. Meron din naman po tayong tinatawag na mga um, exotic pairs. So these are the pairs that has really huge spread kasi mas konti yung nagtitrade. So we have US dollar versus uh, Hong Kong dollar. Um, in some uh, brokers, there's USD PHP or Philippine Peso. Euro, Turkish Lira. Uh, we also have US dollar and Danish Krone. But if you're a beginner, I would wouldn't recommend that you trade these exotic pairs. I would actually advise that you trade the um, major pairs. All right, next. Another uh, feature of the forex markets is the high volatility, meaning to say profits can be earned within a shorter period of time. If, uh, this means that if you place a trade, even after a few seconds, you can start earning uh, profit. So I'm gonna show you an example of how volatile this market can be. So uh, this is, um, let me play it. Okay, so there. As you can see, diba, uh, the, the video, that's like less than a minute. But the trading profit is around $2,000. So that's how fast you can earn um, money in the forex trading. But of course, I, I want to be um, honest na at the same time, 
if if you can earn that much in a short period of time it's also possible that you can lose that much as well so you really have to um, educate yourself when you're trading in the forex market so in the forex market there's what we call the leverage trading so you can trade more with less so for example you deposited one hundred dollars so you can uh, have um, bigger buying power because of the leverage so for example your one hundred dollars can have a buying power of uh, one hundred thousand dollars all right the, the other um, features of the the forex market is you can actually profit from bullish and bearish markets. So uh, when we say bullish, it's when the market is going up. And when we say bearish, it's when the market is going down. So the reason why they use the bullish term and the bearish, uh, for bull, diba, when they attack, pataas sila. Tapos si bear naman, when they attack um, other animals, uh, pababa po yung atake nila. So that's where the bullish and the bearish term came from. So another um, reason is the, the ease of access. So I mentioned earlier that um, wherever you are, basta you have internet and a platform for uh, where you can read uh, a laptop or kaya naman a uh, mobile, uh, you can use it. Uh, to trade in the forex market. Um, basta, basta meron tayong working internet kahit uh, nasa sa taas ka ng bundok o kaya naman nasa beach ka. So. so next. So who trades forex? So there are a lot of um, forex participants. So let's start with the the big uh, participants like the central bank. So um, European Central Bank and uh, the other uh, central banks like the one in the United States. Um, there's also commercial banks. So hindi lang po we're not only talking about um, BPI or BDO, but we're talking about huge banks um internationally like like jp morgan uh bank of america uh those are the the big participants as well um uh, multinational companies or um hedge fund companies they are also participants of the the market and also fund managers and here we are we are the the retail traders so right now since um we have the technology. There's a lot of people who've been uh, becoming interested in uh, uh, Forex. So actually, in the Philippines, for the, the past few years, a lot of people are getting um, interested and have been, um, have been participating in the Forex market. All right, next. What is a Forex broker? So... Uh, some of you might have uh, an idea what a, is a forex broker already, uh, but basically forex broker is the one na nagbibigay sa atin ng access sa market. Kasi kung tulon tayo lang, if we say, I want to enter the, the forex market, paano ba? Do I just need to give um, my money? I just, do I go to the bank? Uh, what do I need to do? So of course you need a forex broker, uh, which is Tickmin, to... Uh, trade so Tickmill will give you access to the market. So, uh, what are the common forex trading terminologies? So, there are some that uh, we will be using. First, uh, we have long, short, uh, long or short. Uh, that means long you buy, and short means you sell. And the other is leverage and margin, pip and points, lot, bid and ask, and spread. So first, uh, long, um, 
what does it mean when you say long? It means you're buying. So going long, you believe price can go higher. You place a trade at a lower price and will make money as the, the price moves higher. So for example, you buy at this rate, tapos umangat siya, then you start to get profit. And sa, sa forex trading po, when, when someone say, I'm, I'm long on Euro USD or I'm going long on Euro USD, that means you're buying uh, Euro USD. Next is long, uh, short, uh, short buy, sorry, short and sell. So short, uh, sell means going short. So you believe price will fall. You place a trade at a higher price and will make money as a, as the price moves slow, lower. So for example, this is your buy price, uh, sorry, your sell price, and the market went down in your favor. So you will start to make money. So that the term is also going short. Next is leverage. We mentioned leverage um, earlier. It's the ability to trade at a scale that is much larger than the funds available in a trader's account. So some, some people, they call it the, the broker is lending you money in order to trade. But this is basically the, the broker giving you a power to trade in the, the forex market. Next, margin. Um, it's the minimum amount that the trader must deposit into their trading account to start trading. So for example, if you have a leverage of 1 is to 100, you will need at least $1,100 in order to trade one lot of Euro USD. So that's how margin works. But if you have, uh, an, if you have a one is to one hundred leverage, you need a thousand dollars to be able to um, trade one lot of Euro USD. But if you have, let's say, one is to five hundred, you don't need to have one thousand one hundred. You need just around five hundred dollar margin to cover that trade for the one is to five hundred leverage. Next is PIP or percentage in point. So the percentage of in point, it's the unit of measurement used by traders to show the change in value between currency pairs. The fourth and decimal in the currency pairs or second decimal for yen pairs. So in this um, image, you see uh, yung PIP is ikaapat po siya from this decimal point. So one, two, three, four. So this is the pip. And ito naman po, yung pang fifth na digit is the point. So most of the time, the in, when you are actually checking the movement, ang tinitingnan po ng mga traders is the pip or yung fourth decimal point. So that's for Euro USD, But we have uh, pairs like USD JPY and um, gold pairs na hindi po siya five digit after the decimal. So in this case, um, two digits lang. If not, may yung iba three digits. So the pip value if two digits is in the last digit. Pero kung three po to, let's say, um, let's say may one pa dito. So the pip value, one pip is ito pong two. Okay? So dito ka magsa-start. So in this example, uh, 113.82 and 113.83, ang difference po sa price is 1 pip. If naging 1182, tapos ito po ay naging 4, then the difference in the value is 2 pips. Okay, so um, later on, pakita ko sa inyo yung value, um, magiging dollar value ng no? mga um, pip, pip na yon. So there. So when you're trading in the forex market, meron tayong uh, volume or lot size na tinatawag. This is uh, how much uh, you buy or sell. So parang if you have, let's say you own a farm, you nagtatanim ka ng manga, meron kang manggahan, ito yung parang ilang kain ng manga ba ang ibebenta mo. So in this case, we have the standard lot. We have the mini lot, 
micro lot, nano lot. So standard lot, it's uh, 100 units. Okay. So that's 100 units, um, one, vol one lot, or yung volume niya is 1.00. So per dollar, uh, per pip movement niya is equivalent to $10. So kanina, in this uh, example, that's one pip, ibig sabihin, the value of this is $10. If it moves two pips, the value will be $20 if you're trading one lot, 1.00. Or let's, let's say you're just trading mini lot, uh, that's 10,000 units. Ang ilalagay mo sa platform is not 1.00 but 0 0.10. The dollar value will be $1 per pip movement. And for micro lot, that's 1,000 units. The volume is 0 0.01. And the um, dollar value is 0.10 cents per pip movement. And we have the nano lot which is 100 units, ang volume niya is 0 0.001, and the value per pip is 0 0.01. So mostly for this nano, um, this is for brokers that has micro accounts. But for those that do not have the micro accounts, this is actually not applicable because the, mini, the, the smallest volume that you can trade is this one, 0 0.01. All right, next, we also have the bid and ask. So bid is the price the forex trader is willing to sell a currency pair for. And ask is the price the trader will buy a currency pair at. So in this example, so we have Euro USD. The bid price is 1.0151 and the ask price is one point zero. 1053. So this is the first digit will always be the base currency or the counter or quote currency. So for um, another example, uh, let's say we have a uh, US dollar versus uh, Philippine peso. So the base currency is US dollar. The code currency is the Philippine peso. Um, meaning to say, sa chart, it will be 100 is equivalent to um, if whatever the, the VAT 1.00 and the code currency will be in uh, dollars. So for example, this, okay, let's see. Yes. Okay, so the, the, the second is the, the code currency. So, ibig sabihin, um, one uh, euro is equivalent to 1.051 um, na the US dollar. So, same din po, ang one uh, US dollar is around 50.20 na po yata uh, the last time I checked. All right, next. Okay, here's the spread that uh, I mentioned earlier. So for the spread, so we have the bid price and the ask price. So um, the example po nito is when we are at the money changer or we are at uh, a bank. Diba po, when you're trying to um, exchange money sa money changer o kaya naman sa bank, merong mga, meron silang buy and sell price. So it's the same. So forex, there's buy and sell, and there's the spread. So spread naman, ito yung usually um, sinacharge ni, ni broker. Okay, the spread. So the lower the spread, the better. Kasi ito na yung pinaka-transaction cost. So if um, if in this case, if you have uh, 1.00, uh, 1 pip na spread, that's $10 equivalent. Pero if you, your broker has lower, then meaning to say, you pay lower cost. And when you trade, uh, makikita mo kasi agad negative yan. But if there's a smaller spread, konting movement lang ng market, pwedeng mag-positive na agad yung trade mo. Okay? 
Okay, next. Um, when you're trading, syempre, uh, hindi naman tayo nang huhula lang dito. We're actually not guessing what the, the market will do. So, uh, there are analysis that we can follow or we can help us sa, in making decisions when you're trading. So, first, there are three basic types of forex market. There's the fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and sentiment analysis. So, isa-isahin natin yan. What is fundamental analysis? The fundamental analysis is a way of looking at the forex market by analyzing economic, social, and political forces that may affect the supply and demand of an asset. So, for fundamentals, we are uh, basically talking about um, news. So, what is actually happening to the specific um, country. So, for example, you're trading euro, US dollar. What uh, is happening between the euro and the US dollar? What are the news na mga nangyayari? Uh, Nakaka-affect po siya sa currency. So, if um, there is, uh, the GDP is bad, then it affects the currency. Uh, employment data, trade balance, these are um, high impact news events. So, ibig sabihin po, nakaka-apekto siya sa prices ng uh, pairs na tinetrade mo. So, there are some websites that uh, you can use for this. Uh, we have um, Tickmin uh, Analysis, we have it, and uh, also we have other websites like Forex Factory or uh, Investing.com. So basically, for for fundamental analysis, you are um, whenever you have uh, a currency, the weak economy, uh, the currency value drops. So you sell it. So you will have to dispose some currency that has weaker value, and then you have to keep the one with the strong economy or the currency value with the higher, uh, the currency pair with the the currency with the higher value. For example lang po, for US dollar and Philippine peso, at the moment, of course, you would want to keep uh, US dollar because, um, in essence, uh, US has strong eco stronger economy than the Philippines. Especially during last year, na umabot na $53, ang isang, uh, uh, 53 pesos, I mean, ang isang US dollar. So, in, the, in those instances, of course, you would keep the, the dollars and uh, bibenta mo lang siya kapag gumaganda-ganda na yung ekonomiya ng Pilipinas at uh, mas magiging mataas na na yung value niya. Uh, not in essence, natataas po siya sa, or mago one is to one yung, yung US dollar. But what I'm trying to say is, if last year the exchange rate was 53, of course you will hold the, the US dollar because it has higher value. But if mag-start na siya to drop from 53 to 52, now at 50, that's the time you, that you have to change your dollar into peso kasi mas magiging mataas na yung value niya. So here are some uh, economic uh, calendars. So in Forex market, another um, tool is, this is for Tickmill, we have economic calendar. So may mga time po yan. You can actually change it, GMT plus 8, because um, that's our time. Um, yan po yung ating time the field of follow. So there are specific time na nagsasabi from 8.30 lalabas yung data. So if it's 8.30 ng uh, gabi, then on time po yan, 8.30 lalabas yung data. Depende kung anong uh, market or anong country. And you can also choose the impact. So you can choose the medium to high impact kasi yan po yung most of the time nagpapagalaw din ng market. And it will help you uh, check whether a certain currency pair is going up or down. Next analysis is uh, technical analysis. So Forex technical analysis involves looking at patterns in price history to uh, determine the higher probability, time and place to enter a trade and exit a trade. As a result, technical analysis in Forex is one of the most widely used type of analysis. So for, for technical analysis po, we are mainly looking at the chart patterns. So there are 
trend lines that you have to, to check. There are some um, patterns that predicts the, the next move of the market, although this is not 100% na nangyayari, but uh, based on the history, say for example, based on the history, if in price action, if there's double bottom, so kung sinabi natin double bottom, ito po yan. Okay, so double one, two, so double bottom. Kapag nangyayari ang double bottom, ang next move ng market is it will go up. So, historically, mas mataas, more than uh, 50% ang chance na tataas siya. Basta mabreak niya yung pinaka-resistance. So, when you see a double bottom, you you will buy, pero hindi ibig sabihin na at this price pa lang magbabay ka na. Of course, you have to wait for the confirmation. So, you have to wait for it to break this resistance. Um, close above this resistance and start buying. So since the close above resistance, you can place your buy here and you can expect some profits there. Okay. So next is sentiment analysis. What is um, sentiment analysis? Forex sentiment is another widely popular form of analysis. When you see sentiment, overwhelmingly positioned to one direction, this means that the vast majority of traders are already committed to that position. So, ito na po, um, the sentiment mostly is for uh, ano ba yung feel ng mga, ng mga traders? Currently, ano ba yung positions nila? So, in this case, makikita nyo po yung uh, sentiment. And you can also follow it, but not really that much kasi minsan if say for example uh, okay dito euro jpy um you are seeing na a lot of people are actually um sell so 69% so should i sell na rin of course um that's the sentiment but possible din na okay marami nang naka-sell possible na bumagsak na rin siya so you still have to again check the support and resistance of the um, of the chart. Okay, so um, how to trade in the market? So if if we haven't uh, opened up any trading account, uh, of course, before you can uh, start trading, you have to uh, register um, in Tickmill client area. So just go to the website. That's um, https www.tickmill.com uh, register sa client area so dito po just click this create account this one and just fill out the form um, and then you will have your client area after that uh, of course what you need to do is to get your account validated so for tickmill we're very strict in terms of validating clients so kailangan fully validated uh, na tayo. I think some of the attendees will uh, uh, can attest to that because I'm seeing some clients already. So you have to provide one valid ID and one proof of address. So the valid ID, uh, government issued ID po siya, TIN, PRC, um, voters ID, driver's license, you need postal ID or accepted. But uh, PhilHealth, we're not accepting it. Uh, PNP ID for police or in the military, you can also use that ID. Passport, uh, that you can also use. And for proof of address, naman, you can provide utility bill under your name. Um, it can be water bill, phone bill, cable bill, internet bill. Or uh, you can also provide bank statement, uh, kahit yung first page lang. And if it's not available, you can, uh, we also accept barangay clearance and um, you can also upload another ID with an address. So for example, nag-upload ka ng um, UMID for your proof of identification, you can upload your driver's license as proof of address. Okay. Next, um, so once it's fully validated, the account is fully validated, you will have access to your uh, client area. So this is 
an example of a client area. So, uh, dito po sa part na to may nakalagay open new trading account and ito yon. So, just, just select which account type. So, we have Classic Pro and the VIP and uh, choose which leverage. So, once you have, you're able to open a trading account, ang next is uh, you download the platform kung saan mo ilalog in. Uh, so, download the, the MP4 platform and um, yung client yung trading account na inopen mo you can download it to the the mp4 platform and um, for mp4 it's actually available or the meta trader for it's available in uh, android ios uh, we also have the web trader uh, it's available in mac os um, and also windows os so um for MP4, you are able to trade uh, CFDs on Forex, stock indices, commodities, and bonds. It will uh, execute your order um, with no partial fills as a result of our huge uh, depth of liquidity. You, if you have, you're using EAs, uh, you can install it in our, our platform. And we also provide BPS. So for this, you can talk to your uh, account manager um, about the BPS uh, service of Tick mail. It's actually offered free for clients with a specific amount of uh, a balance. Uh, there's also indicators that will help you um, in your trading and uh, trading signals with an advanced notification system. So uh, that's available in our MP4. So of course, um, after you download the platform, um, log in your trading account. The next step is for you to uh, fund your account. So we're very lucky for TickMail. Uh, we have a lot of ways to, to fund the account. So dito lang, you just go to your trader's room and then click deposit. And you will see these are the payment methods available. So we have StickPay, NetTeller, Skrill, WebMoney. These are online wallet. Credit card or a debit card with Visa or MasterCard logo. Bank transfer, that's also an option. So, ito po yung mga funding time, how fast we can do it. And the other is, and the most convenient way is the Philippines Online Bank Transfer. So, if you're familiar with Dragon Pay and GCash, you can use it to fund your account. So, all you have to do is to click this, select, and just follow the procedure. Uh, pwedeng online bank transfer using your um, mobile app. We have BDO. Metro Bank, uh, Land Bank. Um, we also have over the counter payments and even services of uh, remittances like Cebuana, um, SM Bills Pay, and also yung uh, uh, RD Pawn Shop. So, may mga ganun din po. Uh, it's available for Dragon Pay. So, ito po yung pinakamadali. Uh, ang, ang processing time niya for deposit at, at least. Uh, one uh, within one working day, but if you're able to fully verify it, then uh, almost instant available na siya sa account. And uh, of course, ito po ang pinaka the best fee for deposit and withdrawal. Tick mail will not charge you anything. So lahat po yan free lang namin na ibinibigay sa clients. We are covering the uh, charges. Even for bank wire, if you're um, depositing let's say at least $5,000, then we can cover the uh, wire fee that your bank charged you. So, ganun po ka ba it's a tick mail kasi we try to, you know, um, make sure na yung uh, profits that you earn is uh, pure profits talaga. Wala tayong sobra-sobrang fees na binabayaran. Okay? So, uh, I just wanna discuss about um, tick mail. So, Tickmill is a uh, broker based in uh, the main office are in Cyprus and in United Kingdom. And we are a fully regulated broker. We have three main licenses. We have the FCA UK, SISEC in uh, European Union, and FSA Seychelles. Um, so, yun po yung three main licenses natin. And um, yun nga, we are a big firm with the uh, uh, heavily regulated uh, broker, so you you can be assured that your um, 
trading account is safe with us. Okay, next. So for, for trading conditions naman, ayun po, na I mentioned uh, kanina, for the spread, we can we start from 0, 0.0. And um, you, that's for most uh, major pairs. And well, we don't have recodes, no restrictions on trading strategies. And um, also, this is actually, aside from big, you know, trading by yourself, you can also opt to become an introducing broker. Okay, so an introducing broker, ano ba yun? It's an I or IB. Um, it's becoming a partner uh, as a broker. All you have to do is to refer clients to Tickmill. And when you uh, refer clients and they uh, actively trade, then you can uh, earn from the rebates. So the more clients you bring, the higher potential that you can also earn. So uh, yun nga po, uh, besides self-trading or, or if you have EAs, um, you can earn from Forex. And uh, ito po, isa rin. Uh, you can also become an introducing broker. You don't actually need to have a trading account. You can be a partner. Pwede din po yun. O kaya naman, uh, we have a lot of uh, clients, mga uh, signal providers sila. They also have EAs. So most of them um, use it. They register as an introducing broker. Tapos yung mga clients na yun, binibigyan nila ng free EAs or signals. Tapos when those uh, clients trade, they also, uh, ang pinaka-earnings nila is yung rebates from the trading activities of the clients that they refer. So um, if you want to become an introducing broker, um, since you have a client area na, all you have to do is to uh, click IB room dun na client area and you instantly you'll be an IB. So yun, very easy lang. Um, no need to have another website for that. Uh, dun lang din mismo sa client area mo. And uh, wala tayong masyadong restrictions in terms of um, how many you can refer. Kahit isa pa lang yung nare-refer mo, you can uh, earn rebates. No, wala tayong masyadong conditions on that kasi gusto natin na uh, the partners are getting rewarded um, sa mga efforts nila sa pagre-refer ng clients to uh, Tickmill. Okay? Alright. Um, si, si Tickmill din, uh, so on the website, actually kompleto tayo. We have webinars, seminars, video tutorials, ebooks, infographics. Uh, glossary articles, blogs, and FAQs. Actually, kanina lang on my uh, Facebook account, I shared one of uh, the ebooks na in offer ni Tickmill for free about trading the majors. So if uh, we're friends in Facebook, you can get that. Or if not, it's also available on the website. Um, let me show you Tickmill uh, website. Uh, So I'll share my uh, screen. So that's the website, techmill.com. Okay. So dito po tayo mag-create ng account. And uh, once nakakreate ka ng account, you will uh, actually choose Techmill Sessions. Okay, so yeah, that's Seychelles. Fill out the form, and once you're um, done, um, 
you can just you will go to the you will be directed to the client area so since i have my uh, tickmill account now so let's just log in and this is the client area so this is where you will open account tapos dito na rin po lahat trading account payment history withdrawal transfers um ito yung mga available accounts nyo and uh, if you become an ib ito lang po i-click nyo lang yung IB room and instantly you will become an IB. So you will have your own uh, IB code and referral links under promotional materials. Okay. So yan, piliin nyo lang whether you want the link, banner, logo, um, select which language and yan. Pwede nyo na pong i-share yung uh, tick mail. So we have, uh, for example, the welcome account, yung free $30 na live trading na, pwede nyo siyang i-click uh, lang tapos bibigyan kayo ng link dito, there. Just copy it and share it to your friends and your network and once they sign up and start trading, then you can also earn uh, from the trading. Okay? So there. Um, that's it. And uh, for for client tools naman, so we have the webinars, we have ebooks uh, na pwede nyo gamitin. Lahat po yan available for free sa mga clients natin. And uh, I, this is actually one of the best that we give to our uh, future clients. Uh, the $30 welcome account is um, an account that we give to the client. So live account na po siya, $30. That's live. It's not demo. Um, you can start trading this uh, for 90 days. And then... Uh, once you profit, you can uh, from thirty dollars up to one hundred dollars. You can um, get, you can withdraw it. So ensure mo lang na itong terms and conditions. This one is mabasa mo siya para at least hindi masayang effort mo pag uh, iwi withdraw mo na siya. Kasi there are certain conditions that you have to meet. Although very uh, basic lang naman, mabilis lang naman siya. Uh, mahigpit lang din si Tick Mail sa multiple accounts in one IP address. So, ensure mo lang that when you open an account, a welcome account, uh, once natalo yun, that's it. You will not open another kasi even if you profit from the second account, then you won't be able to withdraw it. Okay? So, there. Um, just, uh, that's it. Uh, anyone can can use this and after that, you can withdraw. I, I've been seeing a lot of clients who were able to withdraw the profit from the welcome account most of them are able to reach up to 100 dollars. so hopefully if you try this welcome account you get to uh, earn profit as well and then you can use it for trading okay All right, so um, any questions, if you have? Okay. Well, if you ha don't have uh, any questions, I will leave uh, my contact details. Okay. So you can uh, contact me um, through Facebook, Telegram, uh, WhatsApp, uh, Viber. So this is my number. Uh, you can uh, reach out to me, and uh, we can uh, I can help you um, get your account started. Okay. All right, so if you have, uh, if you don't have any questions, medyo uh, sakto tayo sa time. So that's, uh, it's a one hour webinar. Um, I want to thank you for uh, participating in this uh, webinar and hopefully um, you will be able to join by next month. We'll have more advanced um, session 
and uh, just feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions again uh, thank you for for participating in the the webinar of tech mill and um, happy trading for good night for